So let's dive into Evoto and edit some newborn images. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the LSP Evoto presets to enhance your Evoto editing, whether you're editing completely in Evoto or you're sandwiching Evoto in between Lightroom and Photoshop or into your normal editing routine. You can watch the other video tutorials for great Evoto tips using LSP and as a standalone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the LSP uh, Newborn and Family Evoto presets and you can watch the other tutorials for the, uh, the Femme Maternity and Black and White presets and the other um, LSP Evoto preset tutorials on the LSP Actions website under the Video Tutorial Library. You can also find videos on LSP Actions YouTube channel. Evoto themselves also have a host of video tutorials for you to get started with, so let's dive in. Uh, we're going to be editing newborns using the presets. When you first open up Evoto, your screen may look a little bit like this. It might look a little bit different. Your images, any images you've loaded in, will be uh, showing along the bottom panel here. If you're already an experienced Evoto user, you can skip ahead just a little bit to get started with the presets. If you're new to this or you've been using it a little while, but you just want to kind of get a bit of a recap, then please stick around. The first thing when using presets is your preset panel is up here on the left. If your screen looks a little bit different to mine, that's okay. It just means Evoto has updated. Evoto does like to update regularly with new features for its users. If it looks a little bit different, you'll still be able to find um, the areas I'm showing you. Any problems, you can pop me a message or you can go to, to the Evoto website to see any updates. This video tutorial may be updated in the future. Um, so if you found this one and you would like to see any updates, visit the LSP Actions website, lsp-actions.com or the LSP Actions YouTube channel. At the presets are up here, the little triangle um, icon, you can click this to have presets open. I'm just going to drag this down. When you open this, you may see Voto's presets that they have loaded in anyway for you to get started with. I'm going to click over here on the My Presets panel. And inside you'll find your LSP Newborn presets. If you haven't loaded these in yet, you can do so by clicking the little plus icon, Import Presets, Presets Token, and this here is where you're going to um, paste your Evoto uh, presets code from the LSP Actions website. It will look a little something like this and you hit import. This will be in your download section after purchasing. The first thing you want to do um, every time you open up Evoto, this is something that's quite important. Um, that's easy to forget, but you'll soon get into a habit of doing it. And you'll soon notice if you haven't done it because it means you won't be able to see any of the skin um, adjustments. It's come over here on your um, color adjustments panel. Your panel may be closed up or it might be open. You have lots of different options here. Under histogram, you have real time color adjustments. If this is on, you want to click this to turn it off. And that way you're going to be able to see the effects of the presets a lot quicker and a lot simpler. You're also going to want to fix your own white balance and exposure. The LSP presets don't do this for you because there are just literally billions of combinations and these are so image dependent. So at this stage, before editing or at any point in editing, you can fix your own white balance. If your white balance is already great out of camera, you don't need to worry about this bit. Or if you've already edited this in, say, Lightroom or ACR or Photoshop or anything like that, you don't have to worry. But at this stage is the stage where you might want to adjust your own white balance and exposure on Evoto's colour adjustments panel. The effects are a little bit different um, to what they may be in Lightroom or ACR or your other editing programme but they work the same way. So just have a slide around and play until you are um, confident that you have your exposure and white balance set. Now we can dive into an edit using the LSP Actions presets. As with everything with LSP, they're using the, the capabilities and the limitations of the software they're in. For example, Photoshop or Lightroom, these are in Evoto, so they're using Evoto settings. And you can, of course, edit manually by hand. These presets are a series of adjustments that I've put together to help you edit even quicker because the whole point of Evoto is speed. So let's go a speed edit really quickly using these presets. You can watch the other tutorials for other recipes and you can download the recipe guide um, that's in your downloads to see um, different options when using the presets. So let's take a look at what's inside. The top section of the newborn presets, you have the Lemon Sky Edit. This is my signature editing section I've put together for you. The first option you have is Lemon Sky All. This is going to change every element of your image from the um, the adjustments to the skin, to the toning, to the lens distortion, to everything. This is a great quick one to start with because it's literally just one click. So I've just clicked that 
and you can see it's working on the image and boom that's literally it zoom in a little bit here and let's see before and after so i'm going to click down here on our before and after icon there we were before and after before and after this is a nef file this is a raw file directly from the camera nothing else has been done and that's using just one click on the lemon sky all preset any point you can go on to your history panel here and we can come back so let's just take that off for a moment the great thing about these presets as well is in, included inside is also um, every preset click it will automatically not only adjust baby but it will also adjust mom dad siblings grandparents i've put it all inside so you can do this in a click let's go into a little bit more of a manual edit with the bases so here you can build up you can change the lemon sky base the lemon sky skin polish and the ending so let's see what each one of these do the lemon sky base is just going to create a beautiful um, ready editing base for your image so here we have before and after the distortion movement there is the lens correction included and that will work on raw images you can also change uh, you can slide this to see how much you want to apply to your image 100% should be good but the little slider comes up you can just slide really quickly next up we have skin and what this is going to do it's going to use Evoto's built-in blemish and skin retouching options I've put my own um, settings um, you know I've changed the sliders I've done everything user tested on over 100 images to get the perfect balance for you so again we have before and after next up you have lemon sky polish this is going to add um, using Evoto's makeup effects which is here in the uh, portrait retouching section you have blemish skin and this is using makeup eyes teeth and hair and this will also affect mum dad and siblings so again we have before and after and then you have ending this is just going to put a nice finish on your image a nice signature finish so before and after so your first option was either using all which does it all or you can click through and choose just one or all of these and we can reset this whole section here instead of even going into your history panel by hitting reset and that's not going to take away any of your exposure or white balance that you've manually set if you do not want to use the lemon sky editing section the next step would be coming down into the manual editing section that i've put together for you first of all we start with an image base you have calm touch perfect socks straight out of camera gentle bub classic baby warm and bright deep and warm moody brighty and white so you can click through each one of these and you can change the strength of it if you wanted to to see which one is good for you you'll soon find your favorites so you can see here that's perfect sock gentle bub classic baby bright and warm definitely not for this image deep and warm moody brighty whites and reset I think for this one calm touch was really nice I'm just gonna take it down a little bit okay next section we're in the image toner section each section works independently of the other so you can build and tweak your image up the image toning section you have two coolers and two warmers so how about we make this image a touch warmer by hitting tone warmer one and you can see that's created um, a warmth over our image so I'm just going to take that down because I don't want it to be too warm yep I like that the next section we're in and each one of these has a reset as well if you wanted to use it is the baby baby skin now this section works on the Evoto blemish fix over here so if you go into portrait retouching open up blemish fix you can enhance this even more for every subject included you don't have to I mean the whole point of these presets is they're quick and fast this is only if you wanted to I'll also show you how you can brush this off you have skin fix gentle and you can see there that has fixed a majority of the little flakes and um, baby milia on the nose and a little bit of the baby neonatal acne or skin fix full and this will do a complete wipe so if your baby has got um, a lot of acne that would take you a long time fixing in Photoshop but by hand you can use this skin fix full if you wanted to brush this off anyway you can hit up here um, for example I always recommend zooming in at 100% if you can while you're editing especially the skin just to make sure if Oto's AI technology hasn't um, accidentally got rid of some eyelashes or you know a fingernail definitely zoom in and take a check if I is so fast you can definitely afford the time to do that 
you can click here on this little uh, manual tuning icon and you can click on the arrays area. For example, if we wanted to erase, which is take the side down, uh, some of the blemish removal on the nose, of course, in, in reality, we're not going to want to. I just want to show you the, um, the effects. I'm just going to take the opacity up. We could be, you know, maybe it's accidentally taken baby's fingernail, uh, belly button, uh, umbilical area, eyelid off. You know, it's always worth having a check. It's unlikely that that's going to happen. It's very rare. I've only counted it once in 100 images, but one in 100 is enough for you to want to double check. And here, okay, and what this is going to do is just working out, it's taken the blemish removal off this area. So you can see you can paint this away, which is really helpful, only on the blemish and the skin retouching currently and the hair, but it gives you that added option. I'm just going to undo that. And you also, in a photo up here, you have a manual healing tool. This to me is not um, quite as fast or as in-depth as Photoshop, but if you're in Evoto anyway, you might want to use Evoto's patch tool, for example, to heal some areas manually. I would wait until right till the end before you do this because you might find after going through the presets, you don't need to do this, but you can hit OK. There are plenty of tutorials online for Evoto's patching, liquify and um, spot healing options. OK. So back into LSP land, the next option is the skin retouch, and this of course works on the skin retouching of the Evoto uh, portrait retouching over here, except everything is just done for you. So you have soft, just a touch, soft, buttery soft, so if we hit one of these you'll see it really softens the skin up, but without applying any tonal correctors. Next up you have the soft and tone, and then you, or you have tone only underneath, so if you want to have soft and tone together, tone, think reds, yellows, um, greys, darks, shadows, anything like that. For example, soft and tone sweep. That has instantly evened out and balanced the reds in the skin tone. Soft and tone perfect. Soft and tone total. And this is also going to apply different soft and toning techniques to mum, dad and sibling if they're in the photo. I think for this one, perfect works really well. And again, you can use in the skin retouching. I've popped skin retouch up here just so you know. You can come into a Voto's portrait, skin retouching, and you can mask this off, or you can open up, and you can change any of these settings if you wanted to. Always fun to have a play, but the whole point of these presets is you can do it quickly. Next we have refiners. These refine the background of your image. Also, if you have mum and dad with wrinkled clothing, you can hit the iron clothing option. So we have, we're not on a beanbag at the moment, we're on a textured background, so I'm going to hit textured background. And you can see it's kind of really taken the texture out and calmed it down. For this image, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to hit reset scene. And that's just going to take it off. Or you can come on your history panel and you can just go to the last section that you were happy with your edit. And then you can crack on, carry on. The last section we're into is image finish. There are lots of different image finishes here in your uh, downloads. In your account section, you do have everything that's included, kind of written down for you. And each of these, it tells you what's inside. So let's just um, go through what each one of these does. And each one of these, you can also slide the intensity. Let's zoom in to fit the screen here. So um, you have subtle contrast. This is an LSP classic. Let that play out. It's added subtle contrast to your image, a beautiful finish. If you want a nice deep contrasty finish, you can also play with the um, intensity of this one to suit your image. Next up, you have ice cream. This is for bright and kind of cool images. It's not going to work quite so well on this one, but they will in general work on all images, so you can really have a play with those. And again, playing with the intensity. Let's go through these a little quicker. You have Matty Moo, which is kind of a dark and matte finish. Lilac Fairy, which is great for kind of feminine toned images. Airy Light, it's bright and it's got a beautiful low contrast to it. You have Weighty, which is kind of a grungy moody finish. Great for parent portraits. You have Warm Sand, which is kind of a warm deep finish. You have uh, Cozy Den, which is going to add, let me just turn this one up a little bit, which has that real kind of focus in a cozy little kind of intimate scene. Boho Light has a beautiful kind of boho finish, um, a nice kind of matte filter in there. Boho Bold, just kind of for your darker boho scenes. 
and white cream for your nice white light and airy images. This kind of adds, um, deepens the shadows and it kind of brings out some detail in your whites. You can also reset this section after you've played through. So here we have before and after. There's after, there's before, and that's a complete raw Evoto edit, which I think is really impressive. And you can, of course, spend time um, creating your own presets and you can create your own edits, but these have been user tested and designed to be the best they possibly can be for a super quick Evoto edit. So let me just reset this image. For example, here, um, Sky All, just gonna hit that once. And that has done the editing for us. Just like that, super, super quick. And we're just going to finish with, which one should we do? How about a little bit of boho light? I'm going to turn it right down. And let's see our before and after. Unbelievable. Really, really quickly. So that's your in-depth tutorial for using the LSP Newborn Evoto presets, Newborn and Family. You can swipe through the other tutorials, which go a lot faster. There are more editing recipe guides where I show you some tips, hacks and tricks to incorporating these presets even more into your workflow. I hope you love them as much as I loved creating them, and I hope you enjoy using Voto and Voto's continuing technology to help us edit our images. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.